Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use SVG text and make it a clipping mask. Oh, and hey, I'd like to mention this video's sponsor, Skillshare.com. Now, it's a brand new year here in 2019, and Skillshare will help keep you learning and thriving as they offer 25,000 different classes in coding, design, business, and more. For instance, you're about to watch my tutorial on SVGs, but you could watch this full course on this subject at Skillshare. Skillshare is also super affordable with a subscription that only costs 10 bucks a month, but if you're one of the first 500 of my subscribers to click the link below here in the description, you get the first two months free, so take advantage. Hey everyone, what's up? Gary Simon of Corsetro. So today we're going to take a look at using SVG text and making it, making it a mask. And that way we can see, just as shown here, uh, anything behind it. In this case, we're using a video. You could use just a background graphic or an image of some sort. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do, but I'm choosing to use a video just because it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, you can do anything with this. We refresh it, we're using JavaScript to change the inner HTML here in about five seconds, there we go. Uh, but there's so much more you can do. You can even use uh, anything that's just a regular SVG uh, path elements that you create in, in Illustrator, so it doesn't have to be text. I think I'm gonna do another tutorial here in the coming, uh, within a week, where I show you how to do that and even morph the SVG, SVG in the context of it being a mask so it's a really cool thing that you can uh, you can use for your web projects and it is quite flexible all right so make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and let's get started all right so to get started I have a blank folder open up in Visual Studio Code with it, which is a free code editor from Microsoft you can download it just Google it you'll find it and then we're gonna create an index.html inside of our folder hit exclamation point enter and that'll give us some quick boilerplate we'll link up our CSS uh, in a CSS main CSS file. Uh, we'll call this SVG um, text clipping or masking. We'll just put masking and we'll save it. We'll come over here, create our CSS folder and our main dot. We'll do SAS for this. Um, and then you click on watch SAS, but in order to do that, you're going to have to first come over here and type in SAS and get the live SAS compiler, install it. If you want to do live reload like I'm about to do, Type in live, live reload and install this live server right here. And then reload uh, your Visual Studio code and everything will work. Um, we'll come down here, get rid of that. And we will also right click and open with live server right there. So there's our page. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we will work with our SVG text, not in a clipping form. I hit Control B by the way to get rid of the sidebar. And what we'll do is just type in our SVG, so SVG here, and we'll say height is equal to 100% and width as well. All right, so nothing's in there now. So to put something in there, uh, we'll say we're gonna use the text element and we'll say X equals 50% to try to get it in the middle. Um, and we'll also put in Y equals 50% get it in the middle vertically and we'll also give it a fill equal to red and we'll say I love SVG so if we save this we'll see we have our I love SVG graphic right here why is it in, a, in the center well that's because we have to come over here to our main.sas type in body and we'll do height is 100 viewport height let's also get rid of any default margin and there we go it's centered and looks like crap so let's make the SVG look better. And we can do that by targeting the SVG element here, or the SVG selector, and we'll put in font family. Of course, I'm gonna put in monster as I always do. If you, I have this installed on my machine, so I'm not gonna bother importing the font. You would wanna do that in a real scenario though. You just go to google.com slash fonts type monster and then uh, import it based on the weights that you want. We'll do font size is ADM, something big. Font weight is gonna be bold. And text transform is uppercase. So we save that. And there we go, what happened? Well. We're centering it, but we're centering it from the starting position right here. What we want to do is go to SVG or to index.html and add an attribute called text anchor. We'll say middle. Save it. And there we go. It is now centered up. Awesome stuff. So if we 
bring this in, we'll see that it's not very responsive at all. So we can use media queries to adjust for that. So what we'll say is at media screen and just because we're going desktop first, we'll just say max width 1200 pixels. And we simply say SVG font size, we'll go from four to eight or eight to four rather. So now, ta-da, there we go. Okay, so then just to show you that you can, you know, you can animate this SVG text just like normal text, we'll put in a transform, um, transform for one second, um, we'll say font size on this element right there. So now we can go like, oops, I'm, I did that wrong, it's transition. I was wondering what the hell, it was not working. So transition, there we go, nice and smooth. Okay, so so this is just regular SVG text, not too exciting. You could do the same thing. Um, if you if this was your goal and this was it, you wouldn't want to use SVG. You could just use regular um, HTML, like in an H1 tag or something. Um, but if we we obviously want to do something interesting with it, which is a, a clipping mask of some sort. So what we'll do is go to index.html. Um, in order for this effect to show that it's working, we have to have something in the background, something interesting like a picture uh, or even better yet, a video of some sort. So let's add in a video. So I'm gonna put in a video tag here and we're not gonna put a source in here. We're just gonna put a bunch of attributes like autoplay, plays in line, muted, loop and re preload, not reload. And then we're gonna put in a source here and we'll do source is equal to, and I found a nice resource on Google called public test videos. Uh, if you type in public test videos, GitHub, you'll get to this page. And these are all publicly accessible MP4 files that you can use for your, your projects and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use this one. We are going on a bull run.mp4. And so if I put that in source, we're good to go. Okay, so we save that and what happens? This. All right, first of all, this needs to extend out further. So what we'll do is we'll go here and type video with 100% height, 100%. All right, that's better. Now this needs to get on top of this. So how do we do that? Simple. We simply say, come out here, we'll do a position absolute. And we'll do a top is zero, left is zero, and height is 100%. Save it. There we go, now it's on top. So how do we invert this so, so that only the video is visible within the SVG element, which is the text? And by the way, you can do this with regular SVG graphics that aren't based on text, but you know, circles or something you create in Illustrator, which I think I'm gonna show in a separate video because there's a lot of cool stuff you can do that, especially with the SVG animation and morphing libraries out there. Um, so that'll be another topic. Um, so now the next step is in order to get this working correctly, we have to adjust our SVG code. I, so we basically put this three levels in. So we're gonna have two more tags right here and here. Actually, maybe let's go back. So the first one's gonna be a SVG definitions tag or defs like that. So come down here. And then inside of there, we put our mask. And so the mask is gonna have an ID of mask. We'll reference that in CSS. We'll do X equals zero, Y equals zero, not nine. And then width 100%, okay, I don't feel like typing that out. We're just gonna grab this. There we go. Width and height are 100% on the mask. All right, so if we save this, it's not gonna be enough. We don't see anything. So we're gonna add here inside a rect, so for rectangle, and we're gonna put in x equals zero. Actually, you know what? It's gonna be all the same four attributes right here. So I'm gonna save myself a little bit of time right there. And then we'll just copy this. You can make this a little bit better looking by closing it like this. And then also it has to come out here as well. And I got this set up in the solution from a code pen, so I'll link that in the YouTube description, uh, just to give them credit. And still at this point, it's now we see nothing. 
I the last final step is to target our uh, SVG rect selector. And what we say is fill, we'll say white, mask, URL, and we pa paste in our, uh, not, not don't wrap it in uh, quotes like that, our mask ID, which is reference to this mask right here, just like that. So now if we save this, it should work. And there we go. How cool is that? So you could do a lot of other cool stuff with this now, of course. Uh, almost everything that you can do in, in CSS with the regular text you can do here now with this element. For instance, uh, we could do a little bit of JavaScript. Let's say we wanted to change the words uh, on a timer or something. So all we have to do real quickly is something like, I mean, there's so many things you can do. We'll do script here just for some inline JavaScript. We'll say let type equals document dot query selector. We'll get our text element, which is right here. And then we'll say set timeout. And we'll say type dot inner HTML, which allows us to change this stuff right here. Equals um, and Gary too. There we go. And then come down here and we'll make this change after two seconds. Save it. And there we go. Cool stuff. So there's a lot more that you can do with this effect, of course. Oh, one thing I do want to say, uh, what if you want to change this color uh, from white to something else? Uh, what you could do is SVG and we'll say this, was a, this will be a direct descendant or a child right here rect so we're selecting the first or the last rectangle the one that's right here not the one that's inside of uh defs and mask right here and this is the one that we want to change uh, for the color so we could say fill is um we'll, we'll just say black blue would be really ugly i think and there we go but i don't like that i don't want that so we'll just say white all right, awesome, awesome stuff. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure, of course, to subscribe. If you haven't yet, click the bell notification icon, and I'll see you guys here in a few days with another SVG Clipping Mask tutorial, I think.